think we got it, guys. Thank you for being so patient. <laughs> Man, that's annoying. Okay, so now let's get the nerves under control. I'm going to have some coffee. <laughs> It's very nerve-wracking. I don't mind creating in front of you guys or any of that or talking with you. All of that's great. The nerves is this, in this, me doing live streams, the nerves for me is, is whether or not it's going to work right and I'm going to be able to connect with you guys. So, hi. Hi, Gina. Hey, Ruth and Christine and Tori. Hang on a second. Hey, Claudine. I accidentally flagged your uh, your name there. I didn't mean to. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> Still trying to get all this figured out. Barbara, I went to the live feed on my iPad and I had to go and select to to see the desk desktop version, not the mobile version, and that evidently is what brought the chat up. Oh, I'm glad it's not just me, Gina. Thank you. <laughs> Whew. Oh, thank you so much, Jan. You guys are so kind to me allowing me to learn and you guys wait for me while I learn. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Oh yes, coffee. I'm going to have coffee for a moment. I was just having chocolate covered pretzels. <laughs> I was being bad. Yay, thank you guys. I gotta bring this chat a little closer. It's a little too far away. Okay, I think that's gonna be a little bit better. Oh, deep breath, deep breath. Is everybody having a good day? I was until I got involved in this. <laughs> yes, chocolate and coffee, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, Gail. <laughs> oh, I got to go do one thing at my computer. Hang on, guys. Okay, Ruth, I've got you all set up. Um, Ruth is going to help me out today, you guys, and, uh, you know, being a moderator, she's going to give me a little bit of assistance and try to catch things that I miss. Okay. Um, Lori, I'm not sure what you're asking. I'm on YouTube. If, if that's what you're asking. We can get this going. Okay. All right. I'm glad everybody's doing good. I'm calming down a little now that I know it's working. How's the sound, you guys? You know, last time we had some issues where I sounded like I was in a tunnel at first and then towards the end it was very very echoey. Is it better today? I hope so. <clears throat> oh okay Lori, I'm sorry. Yay, I'm so glad. 
Maybe I got it, at least that part, <laughs> working out. <laughs> hey, Josie. Hey, Mary Lou. Oh, so glad. So everybody's sound and video is good today? Yay! That thrills me. <laughs> Because honestly, guys, I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I just don't. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Kathy. Thank you. Um, you guys, uh, anyone who is speaking directly to me, please put your um, your text in all capital letters, okay? And that way I won't overlook it if you're speaking to me. And if you're speaking to one another, just use regular case. Yay, Ruth is having her penalty. Thanks, Robin. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm using 1080 uh, for any of you who have your settings on 720 and are ha and maybe having problems. Try try switching to 1080 and see if that helps you out. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Miriam. That's not good. Hey, Gina. Coffee clutch. <laughs> I tried that. I couldn't even find it on my YouTube. I was, man, it could just been my nerves because I was in such a hurry to try to get in, involved here. So I don't know. Oh. Mm, good coffee. <laughs> coffee and chocolate make everything better. Oh, congratulations. Katerina, do you go by Cat? You probably told me that before and I've just forgotten. Ooh, strawberry water sounds good too. Hi, Linda. All right, so now that I've had a couple of swigs of coffee, I might be able to calm down enough to uh, <laughs> to art a little bit. Okay, for those of you who weren't here um, in the last stream, which was my first one, I took an 8x10 canvas panel and I tore up a bunch of... Uh, the leftover scraps from when I was streaming with Barb Owen the other day. So, you know, they looked like this. All right, and uh, I just tore them into pieces. This is what's left even still. There's still a little bit left. But I just tore them in pieces along with some plain book text and I just collaged them onto this uh, little canvas panel. Excuse me. So then, I uh, took a little watered down gesso and covered the center section. And when that was dry, I took um, a Posca pen and just outlined that white area, creating a border on the outside. And then I stenciled these little leaves, the light green leaves into the center section. Um, just used some lighter green paint, lighter than what I had used on the uh, book pages for the other thing. And, you know, just put those in the background. And then these little circles are pieces that were also torn from the same um, painted book papers. <clears throat> so I just tore those. Uh, I had those torn out already, except for this one. I created this one just so I'd have a little bit of blue. 
and I just tore them out with my fingers and Mod Podge them onto the canvas. So that's where we stopped <clears throat> last time because you could hear me double. <laughs> and I, I streamed for two hours on the very first one, which I still find it hard to believe that we were on, we were on for two hours. That was kind of kind of crazy. But anyway, yes, Robin, coffee is my fuel too. Absolutely. So anyway, that's where we are on this. And so today I'm going to just doodle um, the flowers that these are going to be like the centers for my flowers. And I just thought I would doodle uh, on here. Um, I've had rain uh, for a couple of days now, Jan. Um, it's not been stormy, but just off and on it rains pretty good. And then, you know, it stops and then it comes back, rains some more. But I did see that we're under tropical storm warning until Saturday. So, been doing fine though. It's not been severe at all. Yes, time does fly when you're having fun. I'm telling you what, I still, I just cannot believe we were streaming for two hours. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Mary, Mary Ellen, do you go by Mary Ellen or Mary? But yes, I, I'm, I'm Southern, so I do say swigs. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. You too. Or are you in the area? Is that how you knew about the storm, or were you just checking on my area? <laughs> Yay! Glad you could be here, Kids Crafts. I'm glad you're all here. If, if I miss saying hello to anyone specifically, I apologize. Oh, okay, Jan, you're in Alabama. Okay. Uh, my daughter's a weather buff, too, my older daughter. <laughs> all right. Well, welcome everybody who's here, and um, we'll go ahead and get uh, get started playing around. Because that's really all I'm doing is just playing today, just like the uh, the other day. I, I consider this just play when there's, you know, specifically when there's no real plan and you just want to glue paper down to something, <laughs> you know, and then um, doodle and, and stuff. To me, that's just playing. So that's, uh, and it's important, you know, it's important to play. I watered down the gesso because I wanted some of the colors to still come through, Sharon. Um, if I had put it on real thick, it would have been uh, solid white here, and I really wanted to see this color underneath uh, a little bit. It just kind of tones down. If you have a really bright background, you can always just tone it down a little bit by using a little bit of uh, watered down gesso or watered down white paint. Hey Patricia, glad you could make it. Oh, it's hot and humid here too, Sharon. <laughs> Hi Diana. Hi Joy. Oh, okay, Mary Ellen. I just, when I see the two names together, I always think that that's probably what the person is called. But, you know, sometimes you don't want to be called by your middle name. So I like to ask if I can. Okay, so let's play. Um, I was thinking about maybe putting a little bit of something flowery in the background behind the bright color and the dark black that I'll use. Um, so I might try like some gray and just see what it looks like. Um, let me see. I'm looking at my big market pens just see if I've got one that 
There's a gray here. I don't know if that'll be dark enough. I don't know if there's another one here. Here's one. All right, so we'll give those two a, a try on the scrap paper first. Let's see how they look. All right, this one, this one's very light. I don't know if I'd be able to see that. That one's better. Let's see. Oh, that might be all right. We'll try it and see. Hard to write over bumpies. <laughs> all that collage is bumpy here, so a little hard to write over that. But I'm just going to... Um, you know, have some of these in the background just to kind of show that they're behind all of the stuff that'll be much more bolder in the foreground. Let's see. Just make these little leaves on the end here. It might be hard for you to see at first. It's kind of like little, um, just little weedy, weedy sort of grasses in the back. But I'll be able to um, take a picture for the thumbnail image later, and you'll be able to see it better. Now I can I can check and see if one of my um, Faber Castell pins might be better. I know the line will be thicker though. I don't know if I want it to be too thick. That one's a little dark. Let's see. Let's try this one. About the same, just a different shade. Um, I don't know. That's really not... Uh, Can you see that any better from the from this distance? Thanks, Claudine. Um, you know, I don't remember. I've had them for a while. I want to say yes because I get most of my stuff from Amazon. Hey, Lynn. Let's see if I missed anything up here. Hey, Marion, Tamiko, thank you. Christine, I don't remember if I said hi to you or not, but hello if I didn't. Oh, you can see it better? Okay, good, then I'll continue with this one. Hi, Loesta. Okay, so we'll use this one. And keep going. Okay, so let me go over this just a little bit here. Oh, don't put that on there. Maybe. Okay. doesn't really seem like it's writing darker to me, but I'll take your word for it if you think it is. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, I can't see that at all without the other one underneath it. That's the difference. 
Even I can't see that one, or barely. And it may depend on which area I'm writing on, too, what's behind it, you know, as to whether you can see it well or not. Okay, okay. let's see if we get another one over here, some, some sort. <clears throat> This one's really probably more more to the foreground, but we might draw over it later with the black and see how it goes. Thanks, Katarina. <laughs> Um, did you answer a minute ago when I asked, do you, would you rather be called Cat or is Katarina okay? I'm sorry if I missed it. Save your capital letters um, for if you're talking to me, okay, guys? If you're talking to one another, just use regular case. That way I won't get confused. And believe me, it's easy to confuse me. <laughs> Very easy. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing here, guys. Just playing, okay? <laughs> so don't ask me, what kind of flower is that? Because <laughs> I won't know. It's an imaginary flower. Okay. All right, I'm going to stop on those for a little bit. I, could, I may come back to them, but... For now, I'm going to stop on those and we'll go into the using the black for the foreground flowers. After I have my last couple of swallows of coffee. Or swigs, as we called them a minute ago. <laughs> Let me get back to my chat, make sure I'm current here. Okay. Thanks, Susan. I assume that was for me. Put it in caps if it's for me. <laughs> Yay, yes, cat. Katarina, cat, whatever. <laughs> Definitely playing is always fun. All right. Let's see. So I'm going to use the uh, black extra fine Posca pen. for some of these uh, doodly flowers in the front here.
Excuse me. Thanks, Susan. I appreciate that vote of confidence. All right, let's see. Hope you can see that well enough. Uh, <clears throat> I don't think I have the camera set on uh, autofocus, so it might get blurry when I come up in here. But when I set it on autofocus, it does too much, you know, zooming in and out every time my hand moves and that sort of thing. So that's why I don't have it on. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, no, Miriam, not botanically correct. <laughs> So I don't know how I want some of these things sitting. If you guys should see anything strange in the chat, um, just, you know, type the word spam or something like that, and myself and Ruth will look into it and get rid of them if we need to. We had a little visitor last, last time, so we don't want to have that going on. Um, <clears throat> all my art pieces, Susan, I, um, it depends on what they are, you know, if they're, I mean, if they're in an art journal, they're sitting here in an art journal on a shelf. Um, a lot of things I make as gifts, like, you know, I've made a canvas for my granddaughter and, um, I mean, I just, I make a lot of things. Sometimes I make things, um, uh, just to put in my shop. In, on Etsy so but most of the things are in little journals and all here because I haven't really been doing this that long to have a big collection or anything 
Oh, good, Patricia. I'm so glad it's much better today. <laughs> I'm relieved. I, I did look into it, and I, I found a bunch of, I mean, I found a setting I needed to change, and then I made sure that every single microphone was turned off that didn't need to be on in case I was, you know, the echo was from two microphones picking up my voice. So hopefully that'll take care of that, and it'll be good from now on. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> Um, all of the links uh, to my social media uh, things, Anne, are, are going to be in the description. You should be able to scroll down and see it even now. Excuse me. Hey, Terry. Here's the, uh, the second little flower head I made. Hi, Jenny. Oh, nice to have you here. You just found me, huh? Awesome. That's always good news. Okay, let's see here. What should we do next? See, this is what doodling is for me. It's like, hmm, <laughs> you know, it's just playing around. Just playing. I actually think I want to um, put a circle, a line around this center flower here, center of this one. Maybe I'll use this one after all. Yeah, that would be good. What's not showing, Anne? You're not able to see what I'm drawing? Oh, thanks, Terry. I really enjoyed that uh, creative chat with Barb. That was so much fun. And who is who is your small group doing morsels? Hi, Sue. Oh, there aren't any links in there? Oh, okay. Well, maybe they will be afterwards. And if not, I mean, I'll be sure and put them in <laughs> for sure. I thought that they were already there, but, but I could be mistaken. <laughs> okay, thank you, Marion. Marion says the links won't show up until after I post the video, so... 
um, but if uh, if you're looking for the Etsy shop it is um, it is the name of it is handy scraps and um, you should be able to find it just by looking for the store name okay Oh, Terry, you say you're terrified of the glue resist technique? <laughs> Don't be. It's not hard at all. The, I think the main um, mistake or issue that people were having with that one was um, their paint was not watery enough that they put over the top. And so if it's not watery enough, it will be terribly hard to wipe it off of the glue. But if it's watered down, it comes right off. So just make sure that your paint layer that goes on top of the glue after the glue is dry, make sure it's really good and watered down. <laughs> Lynn said her glue resist was a flop opportunity. <laughs> oh, hi, Mags. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying the morsels and, and my doodles. Thank you. You're welcome, Terry. Okay. Alright, so our little flowers are coming along slowly but surely. Yeah, Terry, if you're going to practice that glue resist, just do all your glue at one time and let it dry overnight. And then you'll have several ready to go. You won't have to keep waiting over and over and over, okay? see here
Thanks, Claudine. <clears throat> I missed something with the pecans or pecans. So I don't know what y'all are talking about. Terry says she wanted to be like cat. I don't know what that has to do with the pecan. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. <clears throat> A nickname for Vicky's what? I'm confused still. <laughs> but like I said, it's, it's easy to confuse me. <laughs> hey, Marie. Glad to have you here. Oh, Vicky S. has a nickname called Pecan. I gotcha. Hi, Diana. I don't remember if I said hello to you. Mary. Vicky S. Okay. Hey, Vicky S. Pecan. <laughs> Hi, LG. Glad you're here, Aunt Beck. Uh, Lynn, you know what? I, I haven't looked at the weather yet. Um, <clears throat> I know that we are in a tropical storm watch, so I don't know about the path yet. Of, you know, I just know until Saturday we're, we're under a tropical storm watch. Okay, let's see now. What do we want to do? Oh, are we telling where we all are? That's cool. Awesome, you guys. I'm so glad you're all here. Oh, yeah, I remember Mr. Magoo, too. <clears throat> Norway, Oregon, Canada, 
Missouri. Awesome. Hey, Candida. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Okay. Um, a free me. I know your name. I forgot. Is it Margie? Oh, Netherlands, Brazil, Canada, Ohio. Oh, how exciting, you guys. I can't tell you how thrilling it is to have friends all over the world. Of course, you guys have them, too. You know these people, too. So you do know Israel. I know Miriam's in Israel. <laughs> hey, Sherry. Exactly. So many names, so little time. <laughs> yes, I'm excited about that, Candida. Cat's crew is quite large. That's very exciting for me. Texas, more in the Netherlands. Yay. England. Yay. Thank you all for being here. Wow. Very thrilling. Vermont. Hey, Nancy. Glad you made it. Thank you. Awesome. Making those mandalas, that's fun, huh? Saw Barb doing that. I haven't attacked that yet, but I'd like to sometime. Josie's in Italy, yes. <laughs> Aunt Beck, you need to have an iPad or something you can carry into the kitchen with you. While you're cooking, you can be listening and watching. Ooh, sausage and veg stir fry. Sounds good. Okay, back to the doodles. I'm going to think about those for a minute while I work on these a little bit more over here. You guys are so funny. International Cats Crew. <laughs> that's good, Claudine. That's right. A globally hip litter of cool cats, says Ma uh, Marion. <laughs> Aunt Beck, tell that man to stop banging while I'm streaming. can't be working on your house while I'm having a stream. Now what is he thinking? <laughs> Argentina. Hi, Tanzanita. Glad to have you here. Hey, Debbie. Just doodling on my canvas here and chatting. Tangles, draw tangles. Marie, I don't have a regularly scheduled time to stream yet. This is only my second time doing it until I get the all of the all of this down and feel comfortable in it. Um, you know, I may set up a regular time at some point, but for right now, I'm just gonna stream when I can because I still have morsels and things to do too. So. 
I just have to kind of play it by ear right now. Thanks, Nancy. Appreciate that. I love inspiring other people. So if it makes you guys get out there and do it, yay. <laughs> All the better. Hey, Shauna. Oh, you're leaving? All right. Well, thank you for coming in. Appreciate that. Thanks, Mary. I try to be friendly. Thanks, Sharon. Okay, so let's color. Color in some stems and stuff. Oh, that sounds cute, Barbara. Adding flowers to a face. Cool. Um, I do sometimes. I think one of my videos I did doodle in colors, Aunt Beck. In some colors. But black, I, I normally have a very busy background like a jelly print or like in this case um, uh, the the collage and so that's usually why I, um, I doodle in black I usually do black and white and there's occasional times when I put in colors I may be I may even do that um, this time use um, use some colors I don't know until I I mean until I get there because like I said I don't have a plan I'm just playing But I've got my uh, little Posca pens on the ready, just in case. <laughs> Will I be adding butterflies? I don't know. Maybe. There's always that chance. Stands to reason that butterflies kind of go with flowers, so just might. Okay. Let's see here.
just playing. Okay, let's see. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Barbara's saying, me, wow. <laughs> I assumed that had a cat connotation. Y'all can see that this is not, this is not difficult. It's just piddling around and uh, mindless, just like what you would do if you were on the telephone or something. You know, just playing around. Okay, so now we've got most of the, I mean, we got all the flower heads kind of doodled in and just got to get the rest of the little details in now. white for a few minutes.
if you're not sure what to doodle, there's plenty of examples and things on online and on Pinterest and other places if you're just not sure, just to give you an idea of where to get started. Um, it's a really good place for ideas, you know. Hi, Kathleen and Volga. Thanks for coming in, guys. Joining us with the doodling, doodling on the canvas. Hi, Kate. Oh, that's a good idea. A doodle ideas journal. That's good, yeah. Uh, gel pens might work, Gail. I just don't know how um, uh, opaque they would be on top of something that is busy underneath. Yes, Vicki, Pinterest is a good uh, inspiration. <laughs> yeah, you can you can get carried away in Pinterest. I agree. Uh, and you can definitely get carried away there and lose a lot of time. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I think I'm going to color these white. Uh, Gail, do you have access to Amazon? That's where I get my paint pens. Get them online. Hey, Steffi. Glad you could make it. Working on my canvas that I started the other day. Oh, good, Gail. I'm glad you've been looking. They do have them. Are you in the States? I don't, I don't remember where you said you were from, but there's plenty on Amazon if you can if you can have access to that. That's, that's where I get mine. Yeah, Candida, I like the, the uh, white and the black, too. Makes a big difference.
Yes, be careful, Miriam. Don't get don't get no paint on your phone screen. <laughs> Let's see. I think I'll just do an occasional black square in this grid just for the fun of it. Okay, what's so cool now? Which part are you guys talking about that's so cool? Ruth and Marion. Got some stripy leaves going on here. Oh, yeah. The blocks in the center, huh? I just thought it would be kind of fun to have just some random ones. Usually on something like that, I will, um, I'll do the grid, you know, every other one, black and white or whatever, so. Hey there. Yeah, I don't know how you say this. Kligatcha? I can read the gotcha. <laughs> oh, thank you, Marion. Yeah, Candida, I, I, I'm very detail oriented. You know, I, I, it's just, it's just who I am, I guess. And to me, all of, all of the little things are as important as the big things. So, <laughs> check your board. Check your board, flowers. Fun. Sometimes before I start to to doodle when there's a lot of sections like in here or even in the leaves and stuff, a lot of times I will count to make sure that I have 
enough spaces so that I don't end up like if I'm going to do white and black and white and black and white and black all the way around. I want to make sure that I end up without having like two whites together or two blacks together. So a lot of times you'll see me stop and count <laughs> to, to see, you know, if there's enough space. If not, then I can go back and add like where there's a wider section like here. I can always add a line and make two spaces and then I've got enough. But I'm going to check and see real quick what this one has. <laughs> yep, it's going to work out okay. Must be uh, even enough. I was thinking about just doing uh, every other one, but we'll see how it goes. Kind of cute. Just brightens it up a little, you know. Okay. Hmm. The good thing about, another good thing about these opaque uh, paint pens is that you can go back and make corrections like where the white, um, where the white just now covered over the black. You know, I can go right back and add that black back in there again. Oops, I just messed it up. Um, I did the same thing over here where I had covered up the black outline when I was filling in the white on the petals. So it's just good to... You know, it works well to be able to do that. Hi, Roesta. Thank you for coming by. Oh, good, Aunt Beck. I'm sure your head appreciates the fact that your worker's gone. No more banging. I have to check my hand. I have to check my hand often because I end up with stuff like this on it. <laughs> Where I... Where I sit it down in the paint. <laughs> I don't want to transfer it, you know, everywhere.
Good night, Katerina. Thank you so much for coming by. Okay, what next? <laughs> a book of what, Becky? Becky says I should do a book. Okay, let's see here. Oh, makes me need morsels. I have to think about that. That would be quite an undertaking. stream life and survive. <laughs> That's a good one, Miriam. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Oh, funny. All right. Let's see here. You can see that mostly what I do is lines and dots, right? <laughs> Can't get much easier than that. Hey, Linda. Yay, no echo tonight. That's right. I worked on that, man. Couldn't have that going on. 
My voice is bad enough. One time, you, nobody needs to hear it doubled. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad the sound is better, you guys. Really, I am. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. Yay. Okay, let's see here. We need some, we need some something going on over here. Um, I'm going to color this one in. have to be careful with these Posca pens though whenever you are working on an uneven surface because when they hit the edges for instance of these collaged papers whenever they hit the edges they will spray oh thanks Lynn Lynn says she loves my voice um, we might need to take Lynn to a doctor <laughs> Thank you, that's very sweet. <laughs> yes, ma'am, Ruth, Ruth says I can't be dissing my voice, so I guess I need to behave. So I'll be good. But you can see right here what I was talking about with the, with the spray. It hit an edge right here and it just kind of sprays, just splatters. So when you're working on a Mod Podge surface, you can clean that up while it's wet. But because this is on gesso, you know, paint paint underneath and then a watered down gesso, if I went to wipe that away, I think it would just smear. So um, I'm just going to leave it there. Maybe I'll add that to a leaf or, or something there, you know, to kind of help cover, cover that up. We have our ways. <laughs> okay, now, I think I'm going to go around the outside of this one again, loosely. See, that made a lot of difference to me, just putting that extra... That extra ring around that flower to me that makes all the difference when you're doodling a lot of times if you do a double line it totally changes the way it looks totally changes it so I like that and I'm gonna make sure this is dry white there. I think I'll use black. I'm just going to go around the um, the outside of this little flower with some like like scallop looking. Not not as big as these, but kind of close to the circle scallops. <laughs> um you can post you can post what you're working on today on the on the mixed media morsels group as long as it is morsel related. I'm really trying hard to keep the mixed media morsels group just with pictures of uh, things that we've created using a morsel technique. Because otherwise, and it happened already which is why I had to really crack down on it. People were were posting everything, all of their mixed media art and paintings and, and such. 
and they're beautiful. I loved seeing them. However, it was it was crowding out the pictures of the morsels that people were in the group to enjoy. And so I just prefer it if when you're post, you know, I, I just prefer you to use your other groups that you're in to post all of your work and just keep your your morsel related things like like we did a page on, on doodling in the um, in the mixed media morsel so I could post a picture of this in the group and feel perfectly fine and comfortable with doing that because it's a uh, it's morsel related because we did a page on doodling and that's what this is and we did collaging which is also on the background of this one so oh Terry I hope you do I want all of you guys to come over to the morsels group and post your pictures absolutely Yes, you can share any of your art. You can share with me on my uh, Facebook page. Thanks, Nancy. Yes, that's a great idea. Um, any of your art you can share on my Facebook page. I don't have a problem with that at all. It's just the, the morsels group I want to just keep as morsels, you know. Not trying to, you know, be mean or cruel to anybody. <laughs> Yes, I did. I had to put my foot down for a lot of stuff in the Morsels group just because, um, you know, there's so many newer people, uh, new to uh, mixed media art in the Morsels group. And um, we had some, you know, really lovely pictures being posted. Uh, and, and I felt like the, the newbies were feeling a little intimidated by some of the great work that was being posted. And like I said, it was great and it was beautiful, but I felt maybe we should really stick more with the morsels. And so we, we don't do any other art like that. We don't do any hauls, excuse me. We don't do any hauls and, um, and, you know, we just try to really keep the emphasis on the morsels and to me, I think the group is flowing so much better, so much nicer. <laughs> yeah, Barbara, that's a cute idea, but uh, no, I don't think we're going to be doing any more groups. I've got my hands full, thank you. <laughs> uh, Marie, you're asking about a Facebook group for what? Um, I have a Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group that where we post uh, morsel-related photos. And anybody's welcome to come over and uh, click the join button. We'll get you, we'll get you hooked up. Oh, you're welcome, Terry. I'm enjoying doing the group, honestly. And I'm enjoying you know, people who are new to mixed media art, I'm enjoying introducing them to it and giving them a place to come and do something on a small scale and not a huge art journal or a canvas or something, you know. Thoroughly enjoying that. A haul, uh, Debbie, is where people show pictures of what they went shopping and bought, their art supplies that they purchased. Thanks, Terry. <clears throat> I know this is slow going, guys, when I stop to chat, but we're kind of here for both, right? <laughs> I don't want to make anybody irritated that I'm not working quickly enough, but we're kind of here to, to chat, too, and I don't want to miss an opportunity to visit with you guys.
Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying the, the Mixed Media Morsels group. I really am glad. Makes me happy. Thanks, Barbara. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, Nancy, that's right. I, I have to do that sometimes, you know. I don't like to do that, but sometimes you have to say, you know, got to do it. It's my group. It's the way I want it to be run. <laughs> and I don't, I don't mean that in any haughty kind of way either, but somebody has to be in control of some of that stuff, so... No, Marie, the name of the group that I have on Facebook is called Mixed Media Morsels. Uh, Barbara was just playing when she was talking about the Cat's Meow group. Oh, Gail, you and your mom will have so much fun doing morsels. I'm so glad you're going to do it. That's great. Oh, okay, Nancy. I see what you're saying. <laughs> Works for both, huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Marie. No problem. Just go find the group, because I think you'll really enjoy it. Bye, Mary. Thank you so much for, for uh, coming in and visiting with us. You have a great evening, too. Okay, let's see. Thanks, Anne. Have a good night. Um, I'm not sure. I might go back in and do it with a fine black candida because the gray I'm not caring for too much. So I think I'll go in with a fine point black so it won't be quite as dark as the foreground flowers.
Yay, Marie, I'm glad you found it. Good. Okay, Aunt Beck, thanks a bunch for being here. Take care, too. Have a good dinner and a good evening. Hey, Chetta. Glad you're here. Hey, Laura. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. Perfect. <clears throat> <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. You knew I wasn't going to leave it, right? <laughs> um, what, uh, Chad, are you saying you miss me again? What do you mean? I'm not leaving. Somebody else was leaving. <laughs> No, not over yet, hon. Not over yet. I was saying goodbye to somebody else. Bye, Sue. Thank you for being here. Hi, Josie. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you like it. Thanks, hon. <laughs> I'm getting to them. I'm getting to all of these flowers. Yeah, Terry, I took, um, when I was on the stream with Barb the other day, I took uh, the leftover uh, painted text papers, the book text papers, and I just collaged them onto the canvas. And I added in some plain uh, book text pic uh, pieces here and there. And that's all I did for the background, other than uh, took some uh, watered down gesso and painted out a little section in the center just to tone it down and then I just drew an outline around that white and that's all I did for the background. That's all. If you can see that or not, what I just did to that one stem. <laughs> just that little curlies in there. Curly cues. I don't think I like the dots in these leaves here because I can't see them well enough. So I'm just going to make it a, a line and see if that helps to brighten that up a little bit. And just fill in the section, actually. I think my pen's about used up here.
Uh, excuse me one minute, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Hubby just got home, and <clears throat> I wasn't sure when he would be here, so that's needed to go tell him I was recording in here and streaming. Okay. Um, all right, Claudine, thank you so much for coming. Have a good evening. Oh, Terry, those were little dots. I had just made dotted lines inside the, the leaves, and I, they just weren't bold enough for me. I may end up changing the color of them because I'm not sure I like that much white there now. <laughs> I'm so uh, fickle. <laughs> so fickle. Okay, let's see. What else do we want to do? Okay, Barbara, thanks for being here. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can watch the rest on the video later. Glad you could make it. thinking about bringing some pink in but I'm afraid it might be too bright for this I'm thinking maybe I should just keep the colors going like the rest what do you guys think I was going to put pink around this uh, in the petals of this red flower but it might be a little too much glad you had a good time Barbara Thanks, Terry. I'm glad you could be here. Um, Terry, do you already get notifications of my other videos that go up? Because if you um, if you get notifications for my videos, you should I think you should get notifications for live streams. Got 
That's what I was thinking, Candida. Like, it's just going to be too bright. And it is bright neon. Like, I'm going to leave it off. Hmm. Well, um... If you've never been notified and you want notifications, you just need to go and click the little gear that's next to the subscribed button on my on my channel. And when you click that little gear, then it will open up another window and you just check the box to receive notifications. Hey Kathleen. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Yeah, it'll be on a video later so you'll still get to see it. Sleep well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not sure about the notifications, you guys. I wish I could tell you definitely you would, you would or you wouldn't, but I just don't know. I did put a, uh, an announcement out on Facebook and on Twitter. Okay, good, Terry. I don't know if it'll help you with the streams, but it, it will definitely get you notifications for when I put a video up. Good, Candida. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty easy one to do. I just, like I said, I don't know if it'll work on the streams or not. All right. Let's finish this puppy up here. You're welcome, Terry. Thanks for coming. See you soon. Uh, the last I heard about Shannon, uh, Christine, are you talking about her move? I haven't heard anything since they had to change the uh, time of uh, Jason's interview. Bye, Lynn. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, Shannon's moving. They're they're actually on their way to is it Arkansas? I think it's Arkansas. They're actually on their way there right now. If they haven't already made it. You guys don't follow her on Facebook? She posts all the time. <laughs> yes, Candida, that's kind of a weird question because I don't feel like I have to do anything with my art. I just have fun doing it. <laughs> but, you know. To each his own, I suppose. Oh, she'll be back. That She just had to pack up all of her stuff so they could move. And so that's why you haven't seen her doing any creating, really. Yep, that's right, Candida. You got it. Exactly right. Okay, need a few more leaves here. And, um, hmm. Actually, think I'm going to do little dots on this one.
I can't stop dotting. I can't stop. <laughs> okay, gotta stop. Otherwise it'll turn white. Yeah, she did have a lot of stuff. Hey, Marg, I didn't know you were in here, Margaret. I missed you coming in. I'm sorry. Oh, thanks, Miriam. I'll be glad to check that out later. She put her picture on my Facebook page. Very cool. Thanks for being here, Laura. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We'll be calling it quits here probably pretty shortly anyways. I know you guys have other things to do besides sit and watch me doodle. You're funny, Margaret. <coughs> I just have to keep going until it until it looks right to me, and that's what you guys should do. Keep going until it looks right to you, you know. And eventually, it will look okay. It'll look right to you, you know. Hey, Lori. Glad you made it. I'll be on for a few more minutes. I'm getting ready to finish up. We've been going for a couple hours. So it's about time to wrap it up soon, but not quite ready yet. Okay, I'm going to try using this uh, fine point Sharpie here and go over these background flowers.
Yes, absolutely. Do some art while you watch. That's great. I, I don't know what your name is, how to say it. Simun Simunaya? Glad you're here. like that better with the background flowers being darkened up a little? I think I like that. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. <laughs> a doodle queen. <laughs> I just love doing this, guys. I really do. I forgot a little dot on that one earlier. Ruth is funny. She makes me laugh all the time. Oh, good. I'm glad I pronounced it right. <laughs> That's a first. dark enough. Just color that in just a little bit. Yeah, I like that.
Well, you guys, I uh, really appreciate everybody joining me today. Had a ton of fun. I hope you did too. And I'll be doing this, you know, every once in a while. I, I won't have a set schedule or anything right now. But um, I just think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hang out together. Thanks, Vicki. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to do this outside of the leaves here. Glad you enjoyed it, Debbie. Thanks for being here. Thanks, Candida. <laughs> yes, Lori, I will write you an excuse if you need to take off work to watch a stream. <laughs> I'll be happy to. Now, I don't know if your boss will accept it, but I'll be happy to write it. <laughs> Thank you, gotcha. <laughs> I try to give each one of them their own little personalities. I'm trying to see what else is missing here. Hmm. Oh, I know. I wanted to put some white in here. Nancy. Thank you. Yeah, you, 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 good, Carrie. I'm glad you got here, too. I'm, I'm about to uh, wrap up here before too much longer, but I'm glad you made it, and you'll be able to see the video. Not good to drop your pen. <laughs> Hello, L. Jones. Yeah, another surprise. Although I did, uh, I did put out an announcement about this one on Facebook and Twitter. I'm using. Hi, Jerry. I'm using uh, Posca Posca paint pens. Oh, a butterfly here. <laughs> Yeah, I can, he could sit almost anywhere, huh? I'll have to think about the butterfly 
I've got some uh, words I'm going to put at the bottom. Let's see. Okay, um, this guy still needs a leaf or two. Maybe a curly cue or something. Hi there, thank you. That's looking a little bit more full, a little bit better. Okay, guys. I haven't cut these down to uh, the sizes that I want them yet. thinking about putting these words on the bottom. decided yet but that's a I was thinking about doing something along this line what do you think what do you think what do you think and of course they'll be outlined and fixed up a little bit too I was thinking since I've got the words and all down here and the leaves and I'll maybe putting a, a little butterfly up in here someplace. Yellow, a yellow one. <laughs> Yay, I'm glad you like it guys. It's so much fun and like I said it was just doodling, playing, mindless, you know, stuff, just piddling around, and to me, that is just the most fun, you know, and it's good for you to just play and, and not do anything, you know, specific. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, anyway, thanks for joining me, you guys. I won't, I won't go into all that, but I'll add them on, and then you know, I'll post a picture and, um, you know, everybody will get to see what the finished, the finished one looks like. 
hopefully in time for the video when the video goes up. So, hi, Britton. Glad you came in. We're just getting ready to wrap up, but I'm glad you made it in to say hi. Uh, there will be a video going up of this um, stream, so that's good. Thank you, everyone, for, for being here. And um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to stream occasionally in the evenings, too, uh, just for, you know, the people that are working during the day so that, you know, they can relax in the evening maybe and, and visit for a little while. They won't be, I don't think they will be very long necessarily, maybe an hour or so, but I want to try to do that, too, so be watching for that. And, um, yeah, I just want to try to give everybody an opportunity to uh to visit you know and hang out a little bit thanks nancy thank you all for being here i really really appreciate it vicky thank you so much <laughs> thanks thanks uh l jones i don't know what your first name is all right you guys so i guess we'll see you again on the next one and um stay creative and we'll see you soon okay Talk to you later. Thank you, Ruth, for helping me out today. See you guys soon. Bye.